I'm at uh, Steve Dinan in uh, Morgan Hill, California, next to Dinan's. It might be even your personal M5. This is my personal M5. It's also my favorite BMW. It is. So perfect. I'm an, I'm an M5 guy. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Nice to hear. So we're going to first now talk about uh, what's available current for the M5 and also the future plans. I've heard, uh, now I recently got confirmed that uh, a stroker engine will be available. Like, you can even video it, how's that? <laughs> That's good. Stand back there right now. <laughs> um, yeah, the products that are currently available for the M5 are front and rear stress brakes, yep. wheels, uh, four wheel brake kit, suspension system, um, let's see, differential gears, rear exhaust, throttle bodies, and software. Yep. I think that's everything that's available for the car right now. I think it's like eight or nine things. Uh, yeah, th yeah, throttle bodies is the newest part of these. Software's the newest thing. Yeah, yeah, so that's right. Software's been out for about nine months. Oh, that's right. Uh, Sorry. Last <laughs> winter. Um, future things that are coming still are cold air intake with larger air mass meter. Yep. Camshafts. Oh. Uh, middle exhaust section. And then uh, stroke to the board and aspirated motor. And uh, yeah, that's right. For, for the E39 M5, you actually had cams. You could actually change the cams, but that was not included in the S2 package. It, it was an option on the S2. It package. was an option. Yeah, this is going to be included in the S2 package. Or uh, oh. in, in, when we build the motor, it's going to be in the engine as well. Yes, yeah, so in, 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 in the stroke engine, you cams, mean? Yeah. yeah, but you will not be able just to change cams. We will. We're going to offer oh, cams really? separately on the stock motor. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and uh, then we're going to offer cams in the engine as well. Oh, so it will be. Maybe the, like a S2 package will have the cams and the right. S3 uh, like a stroker package. Right, the S2 package is going to be the gears, the both exhaust sections, cold air intake, air mass meter, throttle bodies and cam shafts and it's going to make between 50 and 60 horsepower. Uh, and wheels as well I guess? Yeah. 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 Wheels, yeah. Uh, uh, and no bra brakes? And, and a suspension kit. Brakes are always an option. Yep, yep. Yeah, that makes sense. And the, yeah, it'll, you know, we haven't finished all the dyno work, but somewhere between 10 and 15 horsepower is what we think the cams will be. Yep, uh, um, and in addition with uh, with um, all of the other kits, the complete S2 package will add maybe 40 horsepower? Uh, we think about 50 or 60 Okay. On the S2 package, and then the gearing is 7.5%, plus we go down to 30 series aspect, aspect ratio tires from 35, Yep. that's another 2%, so it's about a 20% change yeah. in acceleration uh, between the gearing, the tires, and the uh, and the S2 package, so big gain. And, and with those cams, you'll also have 8,400 RPM rev limiter. Yeah, the rev limiter is raised 8,400 RPM, and the speed limiter is uh, disconnected, so that it hits natural red line and top here. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. Uh, and. Uh, uh, also, uh, the differential will be included in the S2 package? Yes, definitely. Yes. So, raised, limitum, li raised rev limiter and another differential, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, the differential is about 40% of the game acceleration, about 60% of will come from the engine power. Yep. Now, we'll add to all those parts the stroke and board motor of 5.7 liters, which then bumps up to 620 horsepower. Uh, well, uh, and that's a, with the gearing, that's about a 35% change in acceleration. So, yes. Uh, Pretty serious game. <laughs> <laughs> 620 horsepower. That, that sounds. Yeah, we can, we can go take a look at it. It's back here in the state. We have Steve uh, next to the Dynan M6, but yeah, it basically looks stock now, it has the stock brakes, uh, but we're going to talk about uh, the upcoming plans for the M6 as well, same yeah. as the M5 in short, Yeah, this is simply uh, faster. This is our M6 development car and all the same products will be available, a 550 horsepower S2 and a 620 horsepower S3, except the car weighs less and has lower center of gravity and is more aerodynamic, so yeah. it should be even faster. We're also going to be racing an M6 and speed. Uh, excuse me, in uh, Grand Am GT next year. Oh, cool. Mm. Dynamis. Wow. So it's uh, it's going to be a full blown race car, though. Two frame carbon composite bodywork. And um, with a stroke engine, then, or? Uh, rules require it to be five liters. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Is so. there a horsepower limit also? Yeah, so what's that? Is there they don't give you a horsepower limit, they give you specifications of the engine that limit how much development you can do. So, yeah, the street car will be faster than the race car. Wow. <laughs> of course, <laughs> wow. There's no limits on the street car, you know. <laughs> we'll have two prototype cars running next year and one GT car. Right on. Oh. 
Well, is that, um, that that car that won with your engine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won a few. Yeah, you had a great success. What, what's yeah. what's different with that engine? Uh, the, uh, that S62. Yeah, S62. Yeah, yeah, S62. yeah. Yeah, I mean, pretty much everything in it's different. I mean, the only thing that's okay. different is the <laughs> casting on the block and the head. The same okay. GT car but, as well. But, so. but with your M5 E39, it's doable. Yes, we did one. Oh, you did? Yes, uh, the 4S Z8. That's you know, right. The Z8, we put a prototype motor in it. So, so that was a identical engine to the one you raced with. Yeah, it doesn't have the dry sump system. Other than that, it all the same parts in it as the race engine. And uh, if I ask for the price, I cannot afford it, I guess. <laughs> I think it was seventy thousand for the conversion. Okay, for the okay for any. Really, considering what it is, it's not that bad. Uh, and and the S2, sorry, just uh, S2. S2. Cost. We have a designation of Sport yeah. One, Sport Two, Sport Three. If the number gets bigger, the car's faster. <laughs> really all, just some way to break it. Here's a group of parts that go together. It's a package. It's a package, is what it really means. Is there such a thing as an S1 for the M5? Yes, we have an S1 too, and that's what the white car is now. Right there. Yeah, except it'll have the colder intake on the S1. It's not done uh, yet. And how will the cold air intake be on the M6 and M5? Will you have a Extra will you see well, it from the front? Two big intakes on it. And yes, we, and yes. we ran our uh, CFD testing and pressure depth testing. The air intake had plenty of flow. Yeah. Uh, but the air filter is very restrictive, and the air mass meter is very restrictive. Yeah, yeah. You check the air mass meter, and right. and you throw so away the charcoal filters. Some digital pictures of it on the computer, yeah. but basically it's going to have a larger air filter assembly, a larger plenum box for the air filter housing, still sealed out of plastic like we always do so it doesn't get hot like you make them out of metal and it'll yep. be sealed so it still gets ram air and they'll have a larger air mass meter that are interchangeable so you can put a bigger one on with the engine. And But it won't be visible from outside? Uh, as uh, no, when you open the hood the top it's going to be made out of carbon fiber. Ooh, nice. Uh, and it'll be ejection molded plastic on the bottom three quarters. I can show you. I got yeah, we see the kit. Okay, thank you. We have the 5.7 liter commercial. Yeah. Millimeters of stroke. The car comes with 75, so we're upping the stroke eight millimeters. Uh, we're, we have two engines running right now: one with one millimeter bore increase, one with two millimeter bore increase. So one's a 5.7 liter, one's a 5.8 liter. And the reason we're testing: you make the cylinder wall thinner, you get bore distortion. Yep. And you get blow by, and sometimes a bigger motor makes less power than a smaller motor because oh, it's really? blow by. So, uh, so bigger is not necessarily always. <laughs> it also consume more oil too. So the question is, which one is superior? Okay, 5.7 <laughs> or 5.8, yeah, less. Because we really after it's the horsepower number, not the displacement. Yeah. You know, it's like the old thing that some people think if you keep it, it'll make more power. Not necessarily. No. Depends on what, uh, you know, can the heat exchangers deal with the heat? Uh, yeah. Is the other end of the booze? <laughs> the electric. <laughs> I yeah, guess yeah, not. <laughs> so this it's not, uh, it's It just looks like yeah, and I basically ordering manufacturer. Thing with the thing that's made. Yep. Are made by. And. 